in a little more than two months, California will hold its presidential primary. Do you know which candidate you're voting for? Mike Sugarman shows us a website that may give you some help. Some of these people frighten me. They frighten me. We in the media often cover politics like a horse race. He is second in the polls in Iowa. A new poll shows Clinton is in a tight race. Across the country, he is leading in the polls. He's up, he's down. And the reality what about the issues? This is, this is an incomprehensible situation. Some people think that about the campaign. To find out where candidates stand and which one you most agree with, it can take some work. Ordinary people. Uh, to do extraordinary things all across the country. And that's doesn't what have to be extraordinary. Plan. Oh, you can it's sit through the debates, read position papers, study positions, but you don't have to. I'm not really trying to you know, memorize where every candidate stands on an issue. I'm just trying to open my eyes where which candidate is right for me. Ivan Kineski and some pals have set up a website called glassbooth.org, which sets up a quiz that you take to see which candidate you most agree with. You don't have any time for anything else. And this is how they feel. This candidate's the closest. That's enough for me. Last booth has taken the candidate's stands on 14 issues, which you rate in importance for you. So let's take this test, see what it's all about. Medical marijuana, I don't care too much. Civil liberties, domestic security, yeah, I care a lot. I'll give that a two. Crime and punishment, yeah, I think I need that a two. Then, depending on how you weight the issues, Questions pop up to determine where you stand. I support or oppose the 2006 extension of the Patriot Act, okay? Your views are matched with the candidates. Well, yeah, At the right. end, it shows who you yeah, agree with the good. most, and then explains why. It's not always what you might expect. A lot of really what would be termed fringe candidates emerge as being their top match, and that's surprising. Because their views don't get much coverage. But using this really clip notes of presidential politics, you can find out a lot in a short amount of time. That's the way it should be. And tonight we are putting the glass booth test to two members of our Voice of the Voter panel. It's a group of undecided Democrats and Republicans who are joined by our own Mike Sugarman. All right, let's meet our uh, voters right now. Richard Mason is our Democrat and Jan Soule is our Republican. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, briefly, tell me... Uh, who are you supporting right now? Right now, I'm really undecided. Okay. Do you, you have anybody in mind? Well, I, I really like Edwards. Okay. John Edwards and Ms. Olay? Well, I think lately I'm really kind of leaning towards Mike Huckabee. And I think if you look at uh, the rest of the nation, they're beginning to recognize him okay. as a potential. We have Edwards and Huckabee. Now we're going to take the test, and we'll come back later in the newscast, and uh, we'll tell you what the website says that they might think about supporting. Well, at the beginning of our newscast, we told you about a website that can help you choose a presidential candidate. It's called glassbooth.org. Mike Sugarman put the test to two undecided voters, and he's here now with their results. Mike? All right, we're here with uh, the members of uh, our voter panel, uh, Jan Soule, who was our Republican, and uh, Richard Mason, who's our Democrat. We took you down to glassbooth.org, where you put in your views, kind of like an e-date, for politicians, yeah. you kind of match up your views. So, Jan, you started with Mike Huckabee. You thought you liked Mike Huckabee. I like Mike Huckabee. What does the uh, website say you like? Tom Tancredo. Tom Tancredo. Now, he's uh, kind of a one-issue kind of uh, you know, immigration that, guy. Huh? Yeah, but uh, when we started off with this whole thing, I loved Tom Tancredo. All right. And he's a one-issue guy. All right, so that worked. All right, Richard, you favored uh, earlier... Edwards. John Edwards, and who did he say, who did the uh, computer say you should like? And it said I should like uh, Kucinich. <laughs> Dennis Kucinich, probably yeah. the most liberal guy running right now. Now, how did that happen? Well, you, you, you know, he has some good ideas. You think so? He has some good ideas. He's progressive, and I'm progressive, and I like to... Uh, to know that there are people out there with ideas. All right. Ivan Konevsky is the founder of the website. Uh, now, it didn't come out exactly like we thought it would. Yeah, Ivan? I was a bit surprised. Ivan, how did that happen? Why is it, why is it different I, from what they thought? I think it's a testament to the, the importance of the tool. Um, you know, there's one thing that we try to accomplish is that we want to empower people with information. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, uh, I think a lot of people get surprising results, and for a good reason. It's when, in fact, those candidates actually do represent your beliefs the best. Um, All right. Now, they don't 
represent electability, say. So th these are just issues that you agree with. It's not really the candidate you might want to that's, vote for. That's a, that's a good point. However, we hope that in the continued use of the tool, that will definitely promote more activity on those candidates' front. But I think the, the tool itself will actually gain more relevance as uh, there's less options. So let's say a year from now when there's three candidates that have been narrowed down, this tool becomes much more critical as electability is no longer as much of a factor. Okay, Jane, are you going to vote for Tom Pancrico now? Tom Pancrado? Tom Pancrado? No, I think I'm still going to vote for Mike Huckabee because I, I like him when he's paired up with Hillary in the debates. All right, and uh, are you going to vote for Dennis Kucinich? I'm not sure who I'm going to vote for. I, I, um, I still like Edwards, and I still like Hillary and Obama, and I want to see. Okay, well, it's still a good, it's kind of a good party game that you can do with Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It'll be fun, and uh, you may not have either of those candidates in the California primaries by the time they get here. So. And it's early. It is very early, but uh, it does give you a good hint about what issues you like and what issues they like and where each candidate stands. So thank you both for coming in and uh, taking our little test. Great. Thank Great. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.